Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the first news on 12th March newspaper front page dawn. Night edge election for top Senate posts today. PML and PPP members being pressurized to vote for government candidates, alleged opposition parties. By Ibtikhar Ekhan. Islamabad crucial election for the offices of chairman and deputy chairman of the Senate will be held here on Friday today amid a controversy over sale and purchase of votes and delegations by two major opposition parties. Their institutions were involved in political engineering and their lawmakers were being pressurized to vote for government candidates. Former Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani, PPP, and Maulana Abdul Ghafoor Hadri, JUIF, have been um, fielded by the Pakistan Democratic Movement as its joint candidates for the posts of chairman and deputy chairman, respectively. The government had already announced that out outgoing Senate chairman Maulana Sadiq Sinjarani will be its candidate for the office for another term. Prime Minister Imran Khan on Thursday nominated Senator Mirza Muhammad Afridi, a billionaire for erstwhile Fatah. For the post of the deputy chairman, a day before the election for the two top offices of the upper house is set to take place. The announcement was made by Federal Information Minister Shibli Faraz on Twitter. Prime Minister Imran Khan was nominated, has nominated Senator Mirza Muhammad Afridi for Deputy Chairman slot, giving representation to ex fata federally administered tribal areas. PDI member Mr. Faraz wrote. Interestingly, Mr. Afridi was elected to the Senate in the March 2018 elections as an independent candidate from Fata and on a general seat and had jointly joined the PMLN after holding a meeting with the then party chief Nawaz Sharif, but later uh, silently switched loyalty a uh, document available with Don shows that he had submitted the declaration of joining the PMLN to the Election Commission of Pakistan on March 16, 2018. Mr. Afridi saw the document sent to him by Don on WhatsApp but was not available for comment, for comment despite repeated attempts. Though the opposition enjoys a clear majority in the Senate to win both the both the seats, political um, pundits say it is going to be a close contest, and any deviation from party policy and uh, wastage of votes in a secret ballot can translate into an upset. Back in August 2019, Senate Chairman Sanjarani had survived no confidence vote when only 50 votes were cast in favor of the opposition's motion when 53 votes were needed of the 104 member house for success of the move. 45 senators had voted against the motion and five votes were rejected. Interestingly, earlier when the resolution was moved for an for uh, no confidence motion, 64 opposition members had supported it. Now, the senators of the ruling coalition include 27 members of the PTI, 12 of the Rajasthan Awami Party, 3 of MQM, 3 independents, and 1 each of the PMLQ and TDA. The opposition senators include 21 of PPP, 17 of PMLN, excluding Isaac Dar, who has not taken oath of the office, 5 of JUIF, 2 each of ANP, BNP Manga, uh, AK, MAP, 
and the National Party and one of the Islam, the Mati Islami. The opposition collectively has 52 members in the House, excluding Commissioner Dahl, against 47 senators belonging to the ruling coalition. As the jamaat e islami has decided to abstain from voting, the difference between the vote bank of the government and the opposition has narrowed down uh, to four after the Senate elections on March 3. The House strength has been reduced to 100 senators and now it consists of 99 senators as is half dark is in self-exile and has not taken oath as a senator. Likewise, Jamaat Islami Senator Siraj al Haq has reportedly announced to stay away from the election, and this brings the strength of the opposition to 51 senators. PM Host Salanchan, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan, who hosted a uh, luncheon in honor of the ruling coalition legislators expressed the hope that both Mr. Sanjarani, Sanjarani and Mr. Mirza would successfully make it into the top two posts. The senators belonging to the allied parties held out assurance of support unto these two candidates. The prime minister said the and he was uh, mindful of the concerns and reservations of the coalition partners and would duly address them after this crucial phase. Senate Chairman Sancharani called on Prime Minister Khan, a leader of the House Dr. Shahzad Vasim and the Federal Minister for Information, Senator Shibli Faraz were also present on the occasion. Separately, a chief organizer of the Pakistan Tariq Insaf Senator elect, Sabullah Khan Niazi, a BDI Secretary General Ami Mahmoud Kayani, and the Governor of Sindh Imran Ismail had a special meeting with the uh, Prime Minister. Khamber Pakhtun for Governor Shah Farman and the Chief Minister Mahmoud Khan were also present. The meeting held a discussion on the election of Chairman and Deputy Chairman of the Senate. PM Khan directed Mr. Niazi and Mr. Kiani to complete the process of organizing the PTI at the lowest level. The retiring senators, though some of the senators supposed to be retiring, have staged a comeback, um, prominent among those who will not be part of the new Senate are Raja Zafarul Haq, Firebrand, Firebrand Pervez Rashid, uh, retired general. A retired uh, Abdul Abdul Fayyum, retired General Salahuddin Tirmidhi, uh, Javed Basi, Aisha Raza Farooq, and Chaudhry Tanbir Khan, PMLN, Rahman Malik Sasui, Faliju, PPP, and Siraj Al Haq, Jamaat Islami. Osman Khan Kakar, um, Team Pakistan MMP, and uh, Dr. Jahanze Jamaldini, BNPM. Five senators passed away before coalition of their term, completion of their term. Uh, they were Muhammad Azam, Masakh um, uh, Shabazz Dorani, Amir Hasir Khan Bizanjo, Bizanjo, uh, Kulsum Parveen, and uh, Mujahidullah Khan. Around a dozen centers have been re elected before expiry after their six year term. And they are Sherry Rahman, Farooq H. Naik, Salim Ahmad Bivala, uh, Shibli Faraz, Lekat. 
راکھائی محسن عزیز زیشان خانزادہ مولانا عبدالغفور حیدری مولانا عطا الرحمن پروفیسر ساجد میر سفراز بکٹی اور منظور کھاکر پریزیڈنٹ ڈاکٹر آریف علوی ہیز نومنیٹی سینیٹر مزفر حسین مزفر حسین شاہ ہیز پریزائیڈی پروفیسر فارد سینیٹ سیشن اٹو بی ہیلپ تو دائی He will administer oaths to newly elected members of the Senate in the morning session. The schedule for the election of Senate Chairman and Deputy Chairman will be announced afterwards. The Chairman, after his election, uh, will be administered oaths by the presiding officer. Later, the newly elected Chairman will preside over the session for election of the deputy chairman and administration of oaths to him. PMLN wants security agencies so to be neutral. As a speaking at a press conference, PMLN, Vice President Shahid Khakan Abbasi and other party leaders urged the country's security agencies to let the democratic process take its course in the Senate chairman selection. Other PML and leaders are present on the occasion bar, Asan Iqbal, Mariam Arangse, and Hafiz Abdul, Abdul Karim. They alleged that PML and senators were being pressurized by officials of intelligence agencies over phone calls to vote for the PTI candidate for the post of Um, Senate election, Senate Chairman. Mr. Abbasi said the Senate elect elections used to be smooth process and without any controversy in Pakistan, but all that changed in 2018 when a clear majority of the PMLN was bulldozed to install a chairman who was not even a who who was not even represented by any party at the time. Since then, he said, the pushing and pulling of party senators through um, blackmail and other means had um, taken over the Senate elections. Mr. Abbasi said, when the Inter-Services Public Relations Director General assured that the Inter-Services Intelligence and other security agencies would not interfere in the elections, the PMLN took his word. However, he said, the party now had no choice but to call out the fact that ISI officials had once again started making phone calls to force senators of the PMLN and allied parties to change their loyalty and vote for the government candidate. Mr. Abbasi said to many senators like her uh, Hafiz Abdul Karim were threatened by Senate institutions, state institutions like NAB, FIA, and anti corruption establishment to vote against a party line or um, face um, persecution and the political victimization. The former Prime Minister said the PMLN did not want to name um, to name names because it understood that those officials were only following orders. It was the um, practice of influencing voters through uh, state institutions so that they didn't to be exposed, condemned, and eliminated, he stressed. Abdul Karim told the media. Um, that um, ever since the schedule for Senate elections was announced, he had been implemented, implicated in fictitious cases with a clear message that these cases would disappear if, the, if he voted in a way desired by the state. He said several phone calls were made to him this month to uh, coerce him and vote for the government candidate.
Abdul Karim said he told the agency officials that his conscience did not allow him to vote for a party that had destroyed the country's economy, indeed it in foreign matters. He said the, he stood for the supremacy of God Almighty, his prophet peace be upon him, the best interests of the country and loyalty to his party. Answering a question, Asan Iqbal said the entire country was deep into crisis because of the imposed PTI government and yet those who had imposed it continued to back the party. He said the parts that had installed his, this um, disaster on Pakistan should open their eyes and to see the economic, socio-economic indicators, foreign policy disasters, the loss of occupied Kashmir and different sectors, nose dive. Uh, he said the nation was begging the uh, power building institutions of the country to stay neutral instead of putting their weight behind the imposed PTI government that had ripped the country into shreds. Amane Shazia Mari, Information Secretary, Pakistan People's Party Parliamentarian, Faisal. MNA Shazia Mari MNA Shazia Mari, Information Secretary, Pakistan People's Party, Parliamentarian Faisal Karim Kundi, Information Secretary PPP, and Abdul Kadir Patel MNA told a separate press conference. Uh, that opposition senators were receiving threatening telephone calls and the government had lost all ethics to succeed in Senate chairman and deputy chairman elections. The BDM has already won the election and the number and the numbers and the ethics both are with the alliance candidate, they said, and urged the prime minister not to involve the institutions in politics. They said the government was perplexed in this election like it was in the Senate polls on March 3. They said that the PPP had taken notice of the statement of Information Minister Sidney Paras and feared that, that attempts would be made to harm the party senators. They said the government was frightened of Sayyid Yusuf Kazakhilani because he had been a popular prime minister. They said that the PPP had confidence in its alliance that they would vote for the PDM candidates. And in the end, the former request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the press from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.